Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Line School, coming at you today for Throwback Thursday where we take a look at some primitive skills. Today we're going to talk about some tools. Which one looks primitive to you? The Gerber hatchet or this rock? Well, in modern times, we've got modern tools like a like a Gerber axe, or a real simple, and it even has a saw in here. Uh, we got us an LT right knife, the Genesis right here. It's a fantastic knife. Uh, but what happens if we don't have those tools? And that's why I wanted to cover this in Primitive Technology Day and a Throwback Thursday. Is one of the things that I think that we overlook is flint napping, which we're going to cover in another video. Okay, but. A simple thing to recognize is just rocks that are laying around are fantastic tools even if you don't know how to flint nap. For example, if I were to make a bow drill set, let's say I'm going to make this spindle and I needed to round this up, I could use the edge of a rock simply to work the edge down so that I can round it up. Real simple like. And this is a piece of, looks to be limestone or something of that nature. And you can almost always find rocks that have uh, indentations in them or grooves or some of that nature where it makes it real easy for you to be able to do task and quite frankly you don't have to have these tools to do that so that's one use let's say that we're going to cut a notch for our burrow drill set and normally we could do that with a knife we could do that with a hatchet we could do that with a small saw but let's say we want to cut a V in it right here we could take the edge of our limestone and again find us a good edge if we have one and then utilize the edge itself to start to cut our V. So as you can tell, starting to get that V cut right there. Now, the more time that I spend doing that, and all I'm doing is using this edge of the rock, because you'll notice there is my V. I could utilize that to continue to cut, I'm going to get off camera and do that for you and come back so you can see just exactly what the edge of this rock will do. So yeah, as far as primitive skills are concerned, uh, just picking up a rock like this, uh, you could utilize this in a number of ways to use it as a pounding instrument. You could uh, pound grain, you could uh, break up meal, you could pound acorns, any number of things you could do with just a simple rock. Um, what you can also find is rocks that are embedded into the earth and utilize them. Uh, I did this at a class many years ago where I had, uh, I was at a class where I was a student and we were challenged as a group to make a bow drill set in 20 minutes and, as a group. And uh, we were kind of new to utilizing that sort of technology at the time. Again, this is many, many years ago. And I looked at a rock and saw that V and thought, wow, wham, and I just took my, uh, my hearth and just run along the rock that was stuck in the ground and had a perfect V in you know about 30 seconds and so there you go uh, using rocks that are embedded in the earth or that you can pick up to utilize for tools even without the need for flint napping you can utilize a tool like that I've got a piece of shell here too these make good calls I've used these as squirrel calls before and it's not going to work with what I got right here right now but uh, slate calls and shell and stuff of this nature are the precursor to um, turkey slate calls anyway and so this one's not going to be good but you could finalize uh, some calls with a piece of slate and you'd be good to go with just a bunch of rocks so there you go throwback thursday for dan's depot primitive skills if you've enjoyed this video then please please subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up and we really appreciate you doing that as always with nature line school come on join in and let's learn together